The city is alive. Have you ever wondered how it all works? Where does the energy come from? Who keeps the lights on? At the heart of the city is the power engineer. Hi, my name is Stephen Lee. I'm a second class power engineer, shift engineer at Vancouver General Hospital. I would say that a power engineer is hard to explain because most people don't understand what we do. It's a multifaceted position which could involve trade-like work right up to managerial and plant manager type jobs. Most people wouldn't realize that we basically run all of industry. There are everything from buildings, which, which is what I work in, chemical plants, pulp and paper industry, oil and gas industry, all different wood industries, food processing industries, manufacturing, anywhere where you need steam, heat or processes. So in layman's terms, I would say that a power engineer is difficult to describe, yet we are responsible for so many different parts of everything that happens, basically for any industry. My name is Dan Minchin, and I'm a power engineer. I'm the assistant chief engineer at BC Children's Hospital. My background basically comes from uh, kind of a scientific uh, curiosity. I was an inquisitive uh, person, and power engineering is one of the fields where uh, you can basically apply your theoretical knowledge on a daily basis. In fact, you have to. You have to be able to infer what's going on inside something without actually being able to see it. A power engineer is essentially someone who manipulates heat, uh, whether it be in the production of uh, uh, steam in a boiler or even hot water in a boiler, or possibly in the uh, manipulation of uh, refrigerant in uh, big uh, air conditioning and uh, chiller systems. Potentially using that heat to uh, produce electrical energy in uh, turbines and uh, a fuel of some kind and turn it into something that people need, something that they can use to uh, control their environment. Power engineering, as a rule, is a is a fairly clean profession. Uh, you get to work with your with your mind. You pretty much have to to be successful, and uh, it's uh, you get to work with uh, some fairly big uh, machinery, bigger than you're going to find in just about any other profession. And uh, if you choose your your field uh, correctly, uh, you can make a, a really good living at it. Well, my name is Jason Racco. I'm a third class power engineer with BC Hydro, working at Burrard Thermal. My daily routine at work as a power engineer, I'm actually charged with a lot of different tasks other than running the boiler. I oversee the uh, operation of the water treatment plant because our boilers, because they run at such a high pressure, require really, really refined water. And when we are running the boilers, my job is to, you know, pretty much walk around the boiler itself. I'm actually the eyes and ears of the control room. The best thing about being a power engineer is the uh, challenges that you face on a day-to-day -day basis. No day is really the same. I work a four days on, six days off uh, rotation. That's two days and two nights, all 12-hour shifts. And honestly, it's just great. It's like having a small mini vacation in between your work periods. The power engineering course, for example, has, uh, we'll say, about 30 lectures. In every lecture, deal specifically with a, one subject. If you look at the, the whole program of power engineering, you don't look at it as, as, a, as, a, as a burden. You look at it as a, you're traveling. I'm traveling today to water treatment. I'm traveling today to air compressors. I'm traveling to, uh, uh, we'll say, diesel engines. So if you, if you look at it that way, it's very interesting because, you, because it, it's preparing you to do many types of jobs. I went to school at BCIT in uh, Burnaby, British Columbia. It was uh, two one-year programs when I took it. I believe it's a two-year program now called uh, Power and Process Engineering uh, that focuses on getting you your fourth and then your third class power engineering certificate. The types of uh, courses that you take in that program include stuff from power plant theory to uh, HVAC theory and uh, as well as some more advanced stuff like thermodynamics and advanced physics. I got into power engineering because uh, I'm fairly familiar with it. My father's been a power engineer for all of my life and so I'm familiar with uh, the kind of work that they do and it seemed like it was something that appeals to me. 
I was also attracted to the uh, the type of job working on uh, the heavy duty mechanical equipment and of course the uh, the salary as well. I think my dream job as a power engineer is the one that I just got actually. I just got hired by BC Hydro at their combined cycle generating station in Fort Nelson, BC. And what a combined cycle plant is, is when they use a gas turbine and a steam turbine in conjunction to make power. And I think the, uh, the variety of equipment and uh, kind of stuff that you can, you can work on, experience to gain in that position is really attractive to me. In the lower levels of power engineering, the fourth class, um, you end up working with your hands, learning how to repair things. And then as you progress higher, you become more troubleshooting skills and then more managerial skills. If you're motivated to just work with your hands, you can certainly have a career doing that. If your motivation is to be a senior manager and in charge of a multi-million dollar operation and hundreds of employees, that's also in, in the picture as well.